Amanda, who would have known that all those nights spent in our hometown would have led us here to this day? It doesn't feel so far off that it was our last night before leaving for college. We bawled our eyes out as if it was the end of the world. Who would have known that that night was about to be the start of this next chapter in your life? Who would have known that the boy who said, what's up cutie, on your Facebook wall was going to, was going to be the man he is today, your now husband? I'm going to take you guys back to a time in 2008. This is my junior year of high school. Uh, it's, it's around October. I um, go into Hofstra for Parents Weekend. And Amanda goes up to us and says, I want you to go meet this guy. Uh, when I first met him, he seemed like, seemed like a nice guy. And I saw the look in her eyes that when she looked at him, that eventually she'd be with him. How lucky you are to have started your journey as an adult with someone you met in your first year of college. Watching both you and this relationship grow into what it is today is incredibly inspiring. Having been your friend for so long, we are happy that we will be leaving you in the hands of your wonderful groom. He's been in my life in her life for about seven years now and hope for many more. So here's to the two of you. Greg, may your room always be clean and Amanda, may you always find joy in spending your life with your best friend. In all seriousness, congratulations Amanda and Greg. We love you both. Cheers. Cheers. Amanda and Greg, you met in college during your freshman year. Family and taking care of each other are important to both of you, and your relationship deepened and grew, and on August 6, 2014, in Central Park, you became engaged, and everyone was in on it. This has led you to this moment. Greg, it is obvious to anyone who speaks to you that you completely adore Amanda and put her on a pedestal. You talk about her as sweet, beautiful, and kind. She is one of the most caring and loving people anyone could ever meet. And Amanda, when you talk about Greg, it is clear that you admire him. He is caring and loving to you and only wants your happiness. You've said, he teaches me to live in the moment. I can always count on him to put a smile on my face and make me laugh. And that's what I really love about him. Mazel tov! I've been blessed with a wonderful wife, children, friends and family, a grandson, a job that I love, and now we get to have Amanda as part of our family as well. Today, I must admit, I'm the proudest dad in the world to have accompanied Amanda down the aisle. I believe Amanda's met her perfect partner in Greg. These two together is what love is all about. Supportive, caring, thoughtful of each other's feelings and aspirations. From the day that he and Kara were born and my wildest dreams of what my son would be and do, I never contemplated being asked to be the best man at his wedding. This is something that I will cherish the rest of my days. In closing, Let's lift our glasses and toast the new Mr. and Mrs. Albaum. Wish them a lifetime of joy, happiness, fun, good health, and an ever-growing love for each other. Greg, Amanda, Mazel Tov, and Machayim. <laughs>